All right, so we got a lot of functionality in this page here in the categories.php. We can bring in some data, we can add some data, and we can even, well, see some of the data here, but we need to do a little more than seeing. We can update some of this data here if we make the code for it. So we're going to be doing that now. Let's make the code so that way when we click here, we can come here and update the field. Right now, it's not going to be doing anything. Well, it's going to be adding because it's going to be doing the same thing this is doing. Remember that we copy and paste it from here to here, so we got the same functionality right here. So let's go ahead and change that and make it update instead of adding stuff. All right. So what we want to do is right here below, let's write another PHP tag. And we are going to be, actually, we can copy some of this stuff from here. Right, it's going to be very similar, even though we're going to have to modify some things. And when you are modifying, sometimes you might miss one or two things. All right, let's keep that in mind. Let's close this so we don't forget. This is um, not going to be a get. This is going to be a post. Since when we submit the the, the form, we want to get a value from this in text right here. So the cat title. Right. Make sure that you change this input right here also. That way it's different. Update. Let's just call it update. Update category. And let's just copy it because we're going to be detecting this right here. Perfect. Let's just make a little comment here. Say update query. All right. Put it right there. You can put as many as you like there. That's fine. So we're gonna update the category. We're gonna update this this get request to post, and we're gonna take this out here and make sure that we are doing the title. Take this delete out of there, and let's also make sure it's the cat title that we are getting from that field on top, and we're gonna change this from delete to update categories and then set all right so make sure there's one space there set cat title which is in the database that's the column there in the table to equal to this cat title right here that's what we're getting from the form remember that we're gonna do some quotes actually let's put this there and where cat ID equals what well, we don't have this. We're not catching anything yet, but we should be catching something right now because we should be doing. But I'll get to that later. Right now, let's just change a couple things and I'll get to this cat ID later. Let's just say this update query. All right. So what I really want to do with this form is I want to make it so it comes from another page that way we don't see anything that's here. We don't see anything here. When we click on this, we include it from another uh, place in our CMS and then we can do some updating there that's that's the the goal that I want to uh, accomplish here so let's just make sure that our code is good here cat title equals to this where cat ID equals to the what cat ID let's just make sure that this is just just name it cat ID all right so, how do we get all this form out of here, as a matter of fact? Let's just check. Let's do a quick checking for this update query to see if it's good. That way, if we make a mistake, we know where it is coming from on the query. It's always good to do that. We're going to echo. We're just going to die the, everything. And query failed. I think I already have that somewhere. Let's see. I should be having that all over the place, but we're just going to have to make a function there. Query failed later on. All right. Function later on. My SQL I um, error. And then let's pass in the connection. Perfect. All right. I think we're good here. 
so let's go ahead and you know what let's get all this form out of here I want to get all this form out of here let's just command exit or control exit whatever you want to call it and let's create a edit I already have an edit here but I'm going to delete it so just to show you but right click don't you don't have to delete anything I just had that from something that I was doing before just right click on the includes in the admin and create a new file and let's call this the update update categories dot PHP all right and here we're gonna paste that form that we just took from there we got a lot of stuff here that is gonna be included from the categories here and to include it we need to actually write some code about that so how do we include this form well we need to write a little condition here to include it so we're gonna say first we we need to write the PHP tags here all right all right so we're gonna say if set this function is so useful right get we're gonna check for that link right here so if that's set which is the edit key in the array the the key in the in the edit right here in the see that that's gonna be that key right there and make sure that your super global is actually written well All right if it's set we're gonna make sure that we have a cat ID because we are getting that in the other side show you right now actually we have not right here we're not right here cat ID all right all right so let's turn that into the ID right there right so that's good that's good so I think we're good here now next thing is to include the file that we got and make sure that we have our path correctly so includes forward slash what is the name update of this file right here update categories let's just see right here that PHP good all right I think we're good to go all right, let's check it to see if we have any errors. Let's make sure. All right. We click it. Perfect. We have it working now. All right. Click it and let's update it. Let's see if it happens. There we go. It's updating. So, of course, we want the right name on it. Let's add another one. Let's just add. Actually, let's edit this because we already have something there of bootstrap let's call it Java Java let's add another one called um, OOP and let's add another one called uh, procedural and this is what we are doing by the way procedural PHP perfect all right we click on it we can add we can edit it so we are done with this as a matter of fact and let's continue with our course we are CMS system all right so anyways I'll see you in the next lecture if you were able to do this successfully with me great congratulations if not just rewind the video and watch it again and get it done thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care